Hi, I'm Amir Hussein Mirza Bozorg and in this video I'm gonna talk about Comprehensive Abacus Packet Chapter 6 Tensile Test Simulation based on ASCM standard in Abacus Preview. How to ask your video related questions? Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. We will try to answer all questions regarding the video details in the comments below. New Abacus users who want to develop their modeling skills faster in their projects can request user-oriented online and offline services. Subsequently, we offer step-by-step -step guidance, tutoring, and consultancy regarding their problems. The online service includes online sessions, and the offline service includes creating special tutorials. In addition, a combination of the two can be requested. This is the table of content for Chapter 6. So they use this standard and so we will have larger yield point and it will be like this. Okay, this is very important. Uh, now I want to use ASTM standard. Uh, this standard, it is a very famous standard in uh, all of the world and also in Iran. And uh, in Iran, people use this standard to uh, construct uh, dog bone specimens to produce dog bone specimens for tensile tests. Uh, let me show you this standard. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Ah. Is it similar what we are using in Europe? I don't know because in Europe you have Eurocode, okay? You have Eurocode, uh, and uh, I I don't know anything about uh, Eurocodes, and also um, um, and uh, but maybe also in UK, for example, they use ASCM. I don't know uh, this a standard, this a specific one, okay? And. Uh, but you can learn from here how to work with this standard, okay? Then also Eurocode is similar. It's very similar. This is the geometry, okay, of the dog bone specimen. And here you can see the parameters. And in this table, table we have their values, okay? For 40 millimeter wide specimen, okay? C. Uh, plate type 40 meter Why it is 50 uh-huh yeah, uh, width excuse me width what is where is it uh-huh this w w w the w is 40 millimeter okay and i have used this column and here you can uh read the notes okay read the notes about them for example about t thickness there is no value so you must read note 5 Okay, note 5. And you can read it and it says that minimum thickness of 40 millimeter wide specimens shall be 5 millimeter. So the thickness of them, okay, will be 5 millimeter. And I have used uh, these uh, data. Um, yes, what is your question? Can you zoom in please? Okay. <laughs> That's it. I will give you, I will give you this standard. And that is note five. Note five. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, uh, I want to 
uh, I want to simulate the tensile test and talk about it. This is very important, okay? Uh, the simulation of tensile test is very important. Why? Because uh, I want to talk about a lot of points by solving this example for you, okay? Uh, because um, my uh, in my teaching system, okay, in my teaching system, I give you some theories, okay, and then I solve an example and use those theories uh, in the example. And also, um, the modeling procedure. Model 1 is 2D without applying symmetry. Model 2 is 2D and I have uh, I will model one fourth of it okay by using symmetry boundary conditions model 3 is 3d without symmetry also model 4 is 3d and I will model one eighth of it okay one eighth of it and uh, this is the specimen this is the specimen so it is completed And here we have a stress triaxiality, okay? Here we have the stress triaxiality, and as you can see, Abacus standard will not calculate the stress triaxiality, but Abacus explicit calculates it. And I don't know why. I don't know the reason of that, but as you can see here, we have the contour of... Um, stress triaxiality and uh, and now I want to talk about the concept of uh, gauge length okay gauge length um, here I open the standard where is the standard uh -huh. I have rendered the videos of the previous session and after this session I will upload all of them for you okay don't worry I have them uh, if you see here, video of chapter 6 part 2, video of chapter 6 part 3, and uh, video of chapter 7 part 1, and uh, chapter 5 solving exercise. Um, I want to talk about gauge length. If you see A, A is the length of the uniform region. A is equal to 225, but G is equal to 200, okay? G is less than A. And see here. Can you understand it? Can you understand why the gauge length is less than the um, length of the uniform region? Can you understand it from this contour? Please tell me. Everybody. Did you understand? Or not? Would you repeat it again? Please see this contour. Okay? Please see this contour. And also, see this picture. G is less than A. Okay? G is less than A. What is G? G is the gauge length. 
okay what is the gauge length the gauge length is the length that if you want to install any measurement system or measurement tool on the specimen you must install them on this region okay not here only the inner part the smaller uh, the smaller region okay and please see, con see this contour do you understand it why we have gauge length from this contour because it's same in the contour is same in the gauge length uh, your answer is half of the an the correct answer you are telling half of it Okay, it's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> what about the others? It's very simple. Please see this contour. Here, the uniform region, the 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 region that the value of a stress triaxiality is constant in that is this region. Okay? And this is the gauge region. And you can see the contour, okay, here in these regions, if you see, the value of a stress triaxiality is not uniform. It is not 0 0.33, okay? It is not 0 0.33. And if I, if I set it back, hmm, Please uh, see the values in the legend. Basically, the stress is at the end, not somewhere in the middle. No, it is not a stress. It is a stress triaxiality. Yeah, the stress triaxiality. In this region, it is constant and it is equal to 0 0.33. But in these regions, it is more and not uniform. Okay? And let me, um, let me measure this length. The distance here, it is 245. No. 245? No, 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 sorry. Oh, the... This is deformed distance. Sorry, this is the deformed distance. The base distance... The base distance is 201, okay? What is the gauge length? 200. The base distance, the initial distance, okay, is 201 and it shows that uh, the value uh, the, in, the, in the gauge length in the gauge length, we have the constant value of a stress triaxiality, okay? And here, by using Abacus, uh, I have calculated the gauge length correctly. As you can see, that's it, the base distance. This is the deformed distance. This is after loading, okay? After stretching. So, um, I want to tell you about the power of uh, simulation.
Okay? By using simulation, you can understand the secrets of standards, the secrets of designs, the secret of shapes and other things. This is the power of simulation. And by using simulation correctly, you can have a deep understanding about a lot of engineering con concepts. And you can have a good understanding about the rules of standards. For example, why this standard say that? Why that standard say this? Okay? You, you, you can have a deep understanding about all of them by simulating them correctly okay and this is very simple and efficient I mean simple if you are an expert okay and uh, as you have participated in this course uh, you are becoming expert also you must practice yourself um, is there any question about this concept or not or not If you have any question, pl please ask it because I want to go to chapter 7 and uh, explain its models. Okay, so I think it is clear for all of you. Um, I save it and it was uh, the last thing uh, that I want to mention about chapter 6 it is finished and uh, how to purchase packages or individual chapters each of the packages and individual chapters includes CAE, JNL and IMP files step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed explanations and investigation of the results slides and reference papers and standards Packages, specifications, and payment details are provided in the video description. Also, you can pay the cost of the packages in two, three, or four installments according to your budget or income. In the future, updates will be provided for free for everybody who purchases each chapter or each package. The cost of each chapter or package will increase after each update for new buyers. But those who purchases the package would have endless access to all the upcoming updates. This will make the content up to date for new needs and new problems which must be solved via FE simulation. You can contact us using Telegram or WhatsApp or you can send email to us. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk WhatsApp and we can make special tutorials to your order. We can conduct high-quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Also, we offer support in writing the modeling and result discussion part of your thesis, and we have consulting services for MSc, PhD positions, or job interviews, and we can tell you how to prepare the presentation of your simulation works. Now, I want to suggest you several related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.